All right, so um, right now I'm going to do a little test using the HS402. Uh, right now what I have is a map sensor that is hooked up to my power supply. And I have the HS402 hooked up to the signal wire. Uh, well, the signal um, terminal of the map sensor. So I'm just going to give you guys an example on how quick this thing actually reacts. Um, first, I'm going to show you guys with me just taking and sucking onto the map sensor because I forgot my vacuum pump uh, at work. So I'm just going to take I'm going to suck on it and you're going to see how quickly it reacts uh, onto, the, onto the scope. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take and I'm going to bury the voltage onto my um, voltage supply. Like I said, I tested this out yesterday and I was actually very, very surprised on the, how quickly it responded. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that right now. And hopefully you guys enjoy the little demonstration. So that was with me sucking onto the map sensor. Now, um, we have a bad connection. There we go. So, um, like I said, it, it actually responds very, very quick. Uh, a lot faster than what I thought it was going to. But uh, now what we'll do real quick is just give you guys a little demonstration with the, the, the power supply. Um, so the easiest way to do this is we'll take and we'll remove all these. And we're going to take the leads of the scope. We're going to hook that up. I have it set up to 5 volts. And we're going to play around with the 5 volts. That's all. Oh, that was already on. Something like this. This one is the power. I don't need that. No, so we're good. So now I'm just going to vary the voltage. And as I turn it, you guys see how quickly that everything is responding. So there is no... I would say it's pretty much instantaneous and there is no lag in between. Uh, the voltages as you can see I'm turning it and this is a DIY uh, scope guys so for it being DIY honestly uh, very very well uh, made and the thought process that went into it into the design tip my hat off to the Martin Lauren that's for sure um, and of course Chris who actually made this one for me but yeah as you can tell very very responsive um, the real test is actually going to be on vehicle the one system that I want to see it perform on is actually going to be a CAN system and in order to do a good CAN system uh, you guys do have to purchase the automotive uh, one now uh, the reason I say that is because it goes it's a little bit different than using the uh, the oscilloscope one if I'm not mistaken if we go to settings go to system licenses so you see we have the HS402 which is the basic one I have them all I have the audio the digital and the auto and the HS402 I, I purchased every single one of them and I have them on both my accounts because I have two uh, two accounts and I forgot that I had purchased them on the other one, so now I have them on both. So, with that being said, uh, it is better to use the automotive uh, one, and the reason I say that is because it captures it differently. It actually saves it to your to your memory card, but it does it as a record. So what it's looking for right now is just the voltage. Okay, so if we take and we play around with the voltage, okay, it'll take and we'll go down and. As you can tell, it's a little different. You got a very, very long time base as compared to uh, just with the scope, uh, just with the oscilloscope version or the HS402 uh, plugin. And it just keeps on going. And uh, I can't remember how. So this one says I have 3 hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds of record time. Give you guys a view of that. Okay, so um, uh, I'm not going to be recording for uh, three hours, that's for sure. 
but you can also zoom in and zoom out to really get an idea of your voltages. Okay. That is 4 volts, 6 volts, 15. So we'll go up to 12 volts, and as you can see, very responsive. So I'm interested to see how it reacts onto a CAN system because I can see with that with normal voltages it works great but I don't know if the speed of the scope will match let's just say like the the hand tech so um, it would be interesting to test and that's uh, going to be the next test I'm going to do of course I'll bring you guys along when I'm testing uh, just to give you guys a view of this little guy in action so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time